How is everybody doing today? Lucas here. I am the founder of Ballet World Connected. And in today's video, I wanted to show you four of my main accounts and how I managed to grow them from zero to over 500,000 followers. So let's take a look. This is my personal account. I am a professional dancer. I am currently freelancing, but I dance with three companies, two in the States. One of them was Atlanta Ballet. The other one was Indianapolis Ballet. And uh, I danced for two years in Argentina with the Argentina National Ballet. So this is my main account as a professional dancer. And this is how I get in touch with a lot of brands and collaborations with companies around the world. I was recently touring Europe for about three months. We were doing Swan Lake as well as Nutcracker. And I got both of those gigs through Instagram. So I try to stay as consistent as possible because I understand how important it is for me because this is how we make money. And I wanted to show you a few things on my content. So I posted this video yesterday and it literally took me 10 seconds to post it, to create it. Everything was very quick because, and I'm saying this because I get this question a lot of times when I'm doing Zoom consultations for studio owners and dancers that are trying to grow in social media. And that is how you stay consistent when you're so busy. And my answer is we are creating content 24 seven. We are dancers and we are constantly uh, before class, during class, after class, at the gym, at Pilates, we're constantly creating content. We just don't have the habit to record it. So what I do, and I build this habit is, whenever I'm doing something, let's see, let's take a look at this second jump. Um, I was practicing this, I just set up my phone in the corner and I just recorded content. And I just create a bunch of content every single day. And this is pretty easy because you already are rehearsing, you already are taking class. You just have to set up your phone on the side and record it. So for example, I was doing, I was invited to a ballet gala a month ago in Argentina and I was doing uh, de, uh, Giselle Padre and we were very busy and we didn't have, I didn't have any time. I run this account, I run many other accounts and I didn't have time at all to create content. So what I did was basically what I told you, just set up my phone in the corner over there and just have it recorded at all times. After all, you know, you just, I'm gonna give you a few tips on what apps to use so you can edit it, but that's it. So let me show you another piece of content that I managed to create easily with content that I have created in the past and that is based on trends. So this is a viral audio that is called Consistency. And it goes something like the name of the game is Consistency. And I, don't, I added on the caption um, the rest of the audio that says, that is the number one ingredient in your equation in any recipe for getting to what it is you want to be, not to where you're supposed to be. So, and I recorded this video I don't know, maybe two or three months ago, I, I knew that I had to post something that day and I just went, scroll, and created this piece of content there. Um, matching the audio, I added some words in there. Let me show you one more time. And one another important thing is that you should base your caption on SEO. If you don't know what SEO is, that means search engine optimization and that's how a lot of people will find you through the uh, explorer page on instagram so that's uh, another piece of content that i try to post when i don't have anything new and when i do have time to create content it's you know some something like that which is i had this conversation with uh, one of my influencers that by the way connected recently and she said that she was going to travel soon but she was traveling not as a dancer, but on a vacation. She was asking me how she could create content in order to stay within her niche, within her audience. And it was basically, I told, she, I told her to do this. She is, you're not, you're a dancer 24 seven. 
whether you like it or not, you, you don't stop. It's not that you go home and you stop being a dancer. You're still a dancer. So be, be careful with this, be safe, but you know, creating content like this, one of my you know, main things on Instagram is that I do, I do jams, I do some partnering, and this is really easy for me because I know my angles, I know how that it's gonna take me literally a, a few minutes, and this really got over 300, uh, 600 likes, which is not a lot, but it's, it's good for me to keep my engagement going and stay consistent within you know, uh, my, my posts every day. So, like I say, for example, this is another post that I created, this one got over 7,000 7, likes. And let's take a look, over 100,000 views, which is really good for my account. I only have 42,000 followers in this account. And it's the main reason that it went viral is because I started with this. This is my call to action. How many colors ballet dancers burn in class? And this is, uh, people find it so interesting to see, to actually see how demanding ballet is. We do not realize a lot of times as dancers, how demanding uh, ballet is if you compare it to uh, a lot of other jobs. So, and I keep them, keep them engaged, keep watching until the end to find out. And at the end, I just uh, added a screenshot in there which to retain it, you have to take a look many, many times. So that's another strategy to get more views. So, okay. So this is my uh, main account as a professional dancer. Let me show you uh, Ballet World Connected and uh, where we add there. So I started Ballet World Connected in 2020 and we started teaching classes on over Zoom during the pandemic. And we started growing the page, you know, 2,000, 2000 3,000 followers at the time. And once the, the thank God, when the, the COVID pandemic was over, I kept on posting on social media here because I saw potential and it was growing very quickly because I'm obviously a professional dancer. And with a lot of these pages like this, which are uh, a lot of reposting and a lot of, I now I create content, original content myself, but a lot of pages like this, they are not run by professional dancers or dancers uh, at all. So they're dance enthusiasts, which is good. They, you know, they have good content, but this page, it's very well curated because I understand exactly my audience because I post whatever I think it's good, whatever I think I like. So. I managed to grow this to 253,000 followers now and um, we're reaching, if you can see right here on my professional dashboard, we're reaching 1.7 million accounts every month. And uh, a few of my favorite content here to post is for example about it with Isabella, which I have been working with her and promoting, reposting her content for about a year. And now she's got over, let's go to her page. She's about to reach 100,000 followers, you guys. So that is the power of collaborating with other pages. So that is, uh, that makes me very happy to see other people succeed when, uh, you know, when we work together. So that is very good. Um, let me show you another of my pages here. Uh, I also have Paganor Russia, which we are at 130,000 followers at the moment, but we see growing very, very quickly. So let me show you, uh, let me see if I can get to the professional dash dashboard over here. Insights, okay, let's take a look at my insights here. Let's take a look at that. So accounts reach over here. This is for the past seven days, you guys. Let me pull out the last 30 days update. And here we have Bagano Russia right now is trending because we are reposting and creating very, very good content. So right now, the account reach of this month only it's 5 million accounts. So we're pretty happy about that. And let's take a look at our followers over here. We're consistently uh, so this is for the last 
30 days, we overall won 8,000 new followers. And let's take a look at this number over here. Uh, excuse me. We also, also almost 1,700 people unfollowed us. And that is actually a good thing. And let me explain why. You don't need, you don't want those followers because those followers are people that are not really in, a lot of them are bots. So in some clean um, bot account uh, on a you know weekly basis where accounts are not real or fake, they just delete them week after week. So you don't need those. And the rest of the people that also follow this page are people that don't engage, don't comment, don't like, don't share. So you don't need those. Those are passive followers. You need active followers in order to keep growing your account. So there is that. Um, and you know, only through Bagano uh, Russia, we do a lot of promotions of uh, products as well as brand collaborations. This is one brand collaboration that we manage. It is Ballet Through Stretch. And let me, let me show you a video I created for them that got over a million views in just a few weeks. Uh, where is this at? I think it's somewhere over here. So I've been uh, creating content for them. This is content that I and my team have created for them. For example, this, the owner of Battlefield Stretch really wanted to focus on uh, the benefits of the Battlefield Stretcher and their new product, the uh, Dynamo. And so we created this, which is information about why the ballet food stretch is good and uh, safe for you and how you can, and it's, you know, it's backed by, you know, uh, doctors. It's scientifically proven to help your lines and improve your feet. So we really focus on that. I, I'm a professional dancer, but I also have a background in marketing. So the combination of both understanding social media as a um, marketing individual and also being a professional dancer, it's the, I'd say, and I, I feel very confident about this because I got the numbers that, you know, back me up on this, that this is a perfect combination that you need to um, succeed on social media today as ballet dancer, as a studio owner, and, you know, anything in between within the dance industry I can help you grow and take your accounts to the next level. So I, will, I got distracted there, but I was trying to show you a video I created here. I think it's this one. Nope, it's not that one, but it's similar to uh, this one. Here it is. So it got over, let's see. Oh, I might have to take a look from uh, Ballet Connected. So let's go to Ballet Connected and let's type Ballet Food Stretch. There. And uh, let's find a video. I just want to show you how good uh, my team works when we're promoting um, and creating content for other people because we got numbers. If you know, if you're trying to collaborate with influencers or other accounts or trying to expand on social, you need numbers. Find numbers. So there it is. So we reach. One point, ah, sorry, 1.1 1 .1 million views and over 18,000 likes. And let's take a look at the insights. So over a thousand people shared this and we got 54 comments. We were hoping for a little bit more, but that's okay because this post wasn't for getting comments, was for getting the word out there about the value food stretch. And, um, Three, over 3,000 people saved it. So these are great numbers when you're trying to promote and expand your brand. This helps with brand recognition, which is so important nowadays. All right, enough of this. Let's take a look at one of my, uh, my fourth account here. And this is a new one and we're growing it. And I'm gonna show you, this is our month four, I believe, of posting consistently. And we're at 16,000 followers and almost we're about to reach 17,000 and I'm gonna keep you uh, I'm gonna keep showing this as we keep growing this account it's very basic as uh, right now this is a collaboration with 
GC dance events. Um, so yeah, that's basically where all my accounts are. So by the way, connected also, remember I say over 500,000 followers were also in other platforms such as YouTube and TikTok. In YouTube, we reach and I think we passed today over 125,000 125, subscribers, which for YouTube, I think is huge and we're beyond happy to have achieved that. And we, I personally appreciate and love so much our community. So we're very happy to have reached those numbers over at YouTube. And on TikTok, we are at, we're about to reach 30,000, 30, I believe on TikTok and this is really good because we we were focusing only on Instagram for the past two years and about three months ago we started expanding into TikTok and YouTube because uh, well YouTube we started maybe like six months ago to start uh, to post consistently but we understand social media and how important this is for business so we you know, once we build a very strong community over Instagram, we just move those numbers to other socials and we are hoping to reach 1 million followers over, you know, across accounts by uh, January of 2024. So this is a, you know, goal of us. It is um, something we truly believe that we can achieve because we uh, understand social media uh very well especially for the dance world we know how to create content how to find trends how to replicate trends and how to deliver with numbers so everything delivering content for each social media platform it should be different but not that different and by that i mean if you're posting on instagram you know you can repost it on tiktok as long as you add something from tiktok to um this video on, on uh, this video that you posted on Instagram. So, and by that, I mean, don't just repost. And uh, another thing, very important, careful with watermarks. These platforms do not like to see their competition logo on their videos. So careful, get rid of those. And um, one important thing that I, you know, remind a lot of people that are trying to grow on social media, it is to uh, stay consistent. You know, we are dancers and we, you know, we're perfectionists. We try to make everything to look perfect. And when, you work, when you're trying to make everything look perfect, you end up not posting anything at all because, you know, those periods are not, you know, you could have done, instead of five, you could have done six. You could have, you could have held your arabesque a little bit longer and that will end up in you not posting at all and being consistent, consistent it's gonna be so, so hard. So make sure that you're not trying to hit a home run on every single post. What you're trying to achieve is consistency. You're trying to look at the bigger picture. So when, you know, at the end of the month, you posted 30 pieces of content, which means one piece of content every day, when you see those numbers, and, and I assure you, I assure you, those numbers are gonna be really really good thank you so much for watching and if you're a dancer or a studio owner and you're trying to grow your social media channels i'm going to leave you my contact information down in the description so you can get in touch and we can schedule a zoom call where we will go over everything you need to know to grow and expand your brand on social media so thank you so much again for watching and i see you on the next video